John, uh, it goes without saying, another disappointing afternoon in your search for the first win of the season mm. still goes on. Yeah, yeah, we're desperate to, to obviously try and put that right, you know, but um, as I say, you come to a, 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 a stadium like this, if you like, and a team, not County, you know, they've got aspirations of automatic promotion, um, and then you give McGoldrick uh, that sort of quality. Um, you know, we've done our homework on them, we showed the lads, you know, we give them that time and, and space in around the 18 yard box, and you step off them. Then he's going to find qualities like you know uh, moments like that. So, you know, we, he done it last week against Swindon, two shots from from distance. Um, so the lads knew that, and we've got to get out. We've got to be better at that. So you know, it's uh, it's disappointing to see that one going. Came at a crucial point of the game that too, didn't it? Because prior to that, they'd not really created too many problems, and you'd look sort of dangerous on the break, hadn't you? Yeah, well, we'd, we'd worked on it because we knew that they're going to have a lot of the ball, a lot of possession as they, as they always do, and we worked on the shape of the team, you know, staying compact and letting them go down the side of us and switching the play. And as you say, I didn't think they caused us any real problems in, in that sort of sense. But I think it was the, the problems we caused when we actually, yeah, we did look at times that when we broke on them that we looked a little bit dangerous. But I think what's our problem at times was was actually us handling the ball a bit better, you know, making decisions where we can where we can control the ball and pass, you know, to to, to find the man. But we're just putting our foot through it, or you know, we're whacking it and we're kicking it out to play. And we just need to be better than that. We've just spoke about that before. We need to be better on the ball. Is there a lack of composure through maybe a lack of confidence at the moment? Possibly, yeah, that comes with it, yeah. But um, I just think you know we we work on a daily, you know, we, you know, in terms of um, from a technical point of view, you know, we, whatever you're saying, your drills and your possessions and your, your phases of play in 11 v 11s. So they've shown time and time that they can do it. And I think they've shown in in in, in other games that they can pass it. I mean, I think second half we had a few bits of passages of play and you know we got the ball we looked dangerous obviously we made a few subs as well, we looked dangerous in wide areas and then it's the quality coming into the box you know I think uh, late on there Josh Woods has had it either. he thought someone was coming behind him you know we sort of stretching and going back but um, we just need to be more consistent in terms of you know dealing with the ball a bit better. Second goal obviously comes at a, a really bad time for you and I think at that point it's very difficult then isn't it to try and find a way back into well, the is, game? Well it is, it is. Well, again, it's, I've said to you know, the, the lads as a team, as an individual, can we stop the cross? So stop it at source, can we stop the cross? So the cross comes in, we don't stop the cross and then I uh, spoke, spoke to the, you know, uh, one of the centre-backs, Zach, I'm saying about, about the other week about getting height and distance, you know, stop point midweek when he's headed the ball. So, you know, he's, he's headed it and it's dropped to the edge of the box again and then, you know, it's a, a deflection and, and, and it goes, it ends up in the back of your net. So there's a few things not going for us at the minute in terms of that, but I think we can be better in terms of stopping the cross, making sure we head it and get the height and distance on that we need. And if it doesn't, then, you know, we've, we've got to react better to, the, to a second ball. It's maybe a cliche, but those kind of things do tend to go against you, don't they? When you when you're on a run like this, well, they do, and especially when you're coming here and you've got the fans, you know the way they are, and the atmosphere is. And you know, as, as I've touched on before, in terms of you've got some young lads here learning. You know, Zach Hall's still learning on the job. He's played a, a full game the other, day, you know, on Tuesday against Stockport, and then again, he's 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 given us all today. You know, so he's learning on the job. He's, he'll get better. We just need to be, do and be better on the ball, uh, especially going forwards. Very early days, but. You've gone into the bottom two this afternoon. Just how concerned are you with the way things are going at the moment? Well, I am, but it's 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 obviously our job, my job, to to make sure that we don't get too down about it all. You know, so as I said, they've, they've showed in the performances how good we can be, uh, and then in certain games we haven't rewarded ourselves when we played nice football, or you know, we've we've ended up going like you know playing the ball into their half, picking up a second ball and getting a strike off or scoring a goal from it. So you know, with uh, these lads, I know what they what they bring, I know what they do day to day. So we've just got to keep going, and it will show it'll turn for us. I mean, this our season's not going to be defined by getting beat and coming to this place, not not county. You know, and I just want to touch on the fans. Our fans were, were outstanding right through the game, and, and even at the end, applauding the players off the pitch. So we uh, you know we'll stick together and we'll we'll keep it going. A couple of players missing today through illness. You've got a midweek break now before next Saturday's game against Crew. Just gives you time, I guess, to get one or two of those back and also more opportunity to work on the training ground. Yeah, it does. I mean, it's you know, there's, there's uh, I'm not looking for excuses, but you've got um, Dan Martin went down sick first, and then you had uh, Jimmy Knowles and um, and Kelsey Moonen. So you know that that was difficult to start off with. But I thought Zara, you know, asked a couple of questions in the first half. Um, you know, we worked tirelessly for the team, and the lads that came on as well. You know, they all, you know, Jake, you know, making his, his debut today, and he, he, he was he was uh, really good going forwards. I mean, I think Tyler, if he get, gets his elbow in the first half, first half, I think there's a tapping for him in the 18 yard box. So, you know, maybe a decision making there, but you know, there was some decent performances, and um, you know, as I said, the, the sickness doesn't help, but 
but you have to deal with these things and that's that's what the squad's for. How do you sense the the sort of atmosphere amongst the lads in the dressing room at the moment? No, it, it it's fine. I mean, we don't want, you know just emphasise how much that you know me and Jed are the winners, um, and you know you you need to, to make sure that you know you you realise how much it means to win a game and what it takes to win a game, and they've shown us that at times. But you've got to do it on the pitch, and you've got to do it, and you've got to make sure when it, when it matters that you get over the line, whichever way that is. You know, so you can look at it at the different ways of playing. So I haven't said you know we've got to totally play total football. So at the end of the day, I want to win games, and that's what we're going to do next.